guys. My MSR bottle finally turned up, so uh, get a chance to burn the stove for you guys. I'm running uh, white spirit through it, a lot cheaper than the, than the common um, stove fuel, which runs about seven or eight pound a litre. That's a couple of quid for that bottle. So yeah, I'm a bit of a tight ass sometimes, and uh, thought I'd run some cheap fuel through it. So to get this baby started, I've pressurised this, pumped it about twenty odd times, to put a bit of pressure into the system, and just let a little bit of fuel saturate the gauze that's down the bottom there. And you just light it, and uh, that is pretty much that. The reason I went for the MSR stove, um, it is a bit pricey. Uh, the whole setups, well, I got it for about eighty pound because it was on offer with uh, Go Outdoors, and uh, yeah, so so this is it all set up. And the reason I went for this was obviously because um, I won't uh, on some of my adventures I'll be going to places where I won't have natural resources of pine cones, wood, etc. for fires. So uh, this is going to be my uh, have a system for for cooking on when I'm on uh, mountains and ranges etc and uh, yeah so that's the uh, the reason you prime it and let it to um, sort of have this mini burnout is because there's a pipe over the back there that comes down here and basically pressurizes the fuel and vaporizes it so it just um, instead of having a flame like that which is running on pure fuel you'll uh, soon see what it's like when it's running on uh, running on gas but you let this burn for a couple of minutes it's been burning for uh, about 30 seconds at the moment so we'll give it um, give it another 30 seconds or a minute or so and then we'll just start to gently turn the handle um, this is completely off at the moment so this is just running on the fuel that was in the bottom that was all saturated with now I must stress I am indoors um, I've got all my windows open but you know, you shouldn't be using these ones indoors, I'm just a bit of a pillock like that. So uh, now it starts to die down, hopefully, and get a bit of gas going. You can hear it roaring already. And there we go. So it's a nice roaring frame, flame. And uh, it's, it's as simple as that really. Once it's all primed, ready to go, lovely blue flame. Nice clean cooking. And that should boil water nice and quickly. And that's pretty much it. And then just to stop it, you turn it off, that's completely turned off, so it's now just burning the excess. And if you want to keep it going, obviously just turn the fuel back on. But yeah, that is that completely turned off. And after about 30 seconds, that should completely burn off the rest of the fuel. You leave it for five minutes before you unplug it and go from there, really. But uh, yeah, happy to have it going and uh, thanks for watching guys, catch you soon.